up y'all it's Tomei from a damn life with Tomei and we're back with another video I didn't feel like doing my makeup so I got the idea as I was taking a very relaxing shower why not like do it like um uh, do it like you know we in our jammies you know it's the end of the year just chill, relax, do it the way you want to do it. Because I really didn't feel like doing my makeup. And it's really not that much stuff. As you guys know, I like to get these videos out the way. Especially if I know that a trash day is coming. So it's not that much stuff. And it's not organized, so I'm just going to grab and go. So I'm going to start with this first box. Same mask and giving my skin a lot more TLC than usual is because I have been going out a lot and mask me is a real thing. But anyway, let's talk about what's in here. But I just wanted to remember what it was. The Physician's Choice Prebiotic Fiber uh, Probiotic. Uh, so far, so good. I haven't had a problem with this. So, yeah. y'all heard of shop miss a but it's like a makeup brand or a makeup store that's everything is a dollar so i got the lashes in alexis it was a six pack but i don't think it was a dollar but it was very very feasible the price speaking of lashes i have this last story by house of lashes lash book so, I'm not really big on reusing my lashes. Oh, these are really cute. These are really cute. So, what I did the other day was, like, I, like, kind of, like, shampooed the line with, like, um, makeup remover and cleanser. And then I let them air dry with a fan. So, I might try these top pad out of here. Because it's looking like I want to give them a second chance, honey. Okay. I want to get my second chance. I, I mean, anyway, so what else is in here? I'm just going to hold it up because I don't want to keep bending down. My back hurt. I did so much cleaning today. It's ridiculous. I don't know what got into me. So anyway, uh, these are the Eyler by Jasmine Brown lashes. I don't remember what they look like. And if the box is in here, that means I probably was not impressed by the lashes. And then these were the Remy lashes. I felt like I really liked these. Because I just put this in here. But I'm pretty sure it was some kind of wispy lash, if anything. And then these were the IMV matte lashes. They still on there. They were okay. They were too thin. They weren't bold enough. And then a 5D lash. I don't remember what these were. But they were like very wispy and winged out at the end. I wonder, I think them the ones I just cleaned off, like seriously. So we got some cranberry pills concentrate. Um, this brand was okay, but I switched back to the other brand that I really, really like. Um, but make sure you take cranberry pills every day, especially if, uh, in my opinion, you drink a lot. Okay, gotta cleanse out, gotta, gotta keep going, gotta go to go. Uh, this was some hand sanitizer and it stink. I know we in COVID and we coming across some stinky ass hand sanitizer that smell like booty. And this is one of them. And I think it was getting to me. This is the Miracle Water by E Cosmetics 3 in 1 Glow Tonic. Um, skin brightening, anti-aging, skin softening. I don't believe any of the hype about this. However, coming, it really does fight through makeup. Uh, you know how you cleanse, you do your wipes, and then you do your micellar cleaner, cleanser to make sure you got everything off with the wipes and a makeup remover and your cleanser. Yes, that's why I didn't want to wear makeup for the video because I ain't got time for that, okay? Um, this is the Charity Pot um, Lotion. I've already repurchased this. Um, I didn't get the big one because I have so many products and I didn't want it to go to waste. 
So I got another small one. And it's only seven bucks. So can't beat that with a stick. And this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. When I was really, really into um the Glow Recipe um products, I really reached for this a lot. It was very, very hydrating. And if it wasn't expired, I probably would be using this because my skin has been very, very dry lately. Um, I've been using the Murad uh, Acne Cleaner and the Cara Care because I even had acne all up here and I do not get acne, like, at all. But lately, like, it's just been really, really big, so. Maybe it's something in my diet, something I switch, I don't know. Completely bare, moisturizing, no bump, shave gel. Why about this? Why? Why? I ain't even never used it. Why? Why did I buy this? Can't even tell you why I bought it. And this is the Drink of Water Hydrating Boost by uh, Tarte. Um, a lot of people compare this to the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. And I think that is a little bit too oily. This is just enough. I love it and it smells like the spa. You can go back and look at my old videos and I'll tell you how much I freaking love this stuff. Like, I freaking love it. But, um... It only has a six month um, shelf life. And I feel like I had this for two years and I used it and it broke my face out. Boom. Like with the little bones on my forehead. So yeah, full circle moment. That's what had happened to my skin. So this is the, the Murad cleanser that I was telling you about. But I've had this for way too long. So it was just time for it to go. And then this is just some hand soap. Lavender hand soap. I had a big old, big old jug of refill and I kept refilling this. So now that it's out, it's time to go. A green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm um, by Pharmacy. Um, You know what? I like this, but I feel like when you get it in your eyes, it burns compared to the I'm gonna show y'all the Clinique take the day off balm when it gets in your eye even no matter what kind of product you have on your eye it doesn't burn and that's very very important because you have to see when you're cleaning your face right I, I that's how I feel you know but anyway um will I be purchasing these again absolutely I like this one because it's lighter I feel like it doesn't clog my pore or will clog my pores even though I'm in the process of cleaning and then this one is a little bit more heavier. However, like you need you you need less of this. You need more of this, less of this. But they both work equally well. Like I reach for them both. Um, this is the Shishido Rico Resist Under Eye. Like this thing is still full, and I spent buku money on it. And I'm just not an eye cream girl. Sorry. Um, I probably should. Now that I'm in my <coughs> So, yeah, I probably should worry about, like, wrinkles and saggy skin and all of that good stuff. But I'm mad. Am I giving y'all sleepy vibes? I don't want to try to put y'all to sleep. However, I am going to put this up at night because I got my fancy pajamas on. So, yeah. Um, this is the Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrate Balm. Baby, look. Ain't nothing in here. Scraping the side. I ain't done that with a product since 88, okay? Um, this was the Jungle Soap. And it's supposed to be a Yoni Soap. But I feel like it was more about the hype of the color and the name. Like, I really don't feel like it really did any kind of cleansing. Granted, you're not supposed to use soap on it. But there are designated soaps for that area. And they meant well because I feel like I bought something else from this brand and I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And it's for your yoni. So this is a Neutrogena Hydro Boost cleaning, towel, cleaning Towelettes. And for some reason, like, they dry out. And I, I don't know why. Um, but I'll just stick to the um, original uh, Neutrogena face makeup removal wipes. And then this is the Gun Gum by Bath and Body Works Moisturizing Body Wash. This works wonders, especially if you get like one of those foot scrubbers and scrub the bottom of your feet with it because it's so 
moisturizing and it smells really good if you're into scents that are like on the masculine side then you will really like it. it's like very uh cleany uh like let's say if you like fragrances like dust and gabbana light blue you almost definitely like this boom this what is this elf pore cleaning glitter peel off mask uh, this is one of the products again that I felt like was more about the name than it actually working. Yes, it's full of glitter, but are you really, you know, clearing out my pores? You got glitter in it. Like, how is this going to work? So, as you can see, it's full. I didn't really like it. It was kind of drying on the drying side. So, I won't be purchasing it again. And it was only a few bucks again because it's Elf. So, I didn't really miss out on what I spent. Advil, sinus, and congestion pain. You know, sometimes, you know, you may not be sick, but you're congested. So, I always turn to this. Um, when I'm feeling, um, like, nasally, like, congested. But, my friend, uh, Bella, she was sick. Well, something like sick, but not really sick. She had a really soft nose. And you know what really helped her? After buying like hundreds of dollars worth of medicine, freaking nasal spray. And all of that stuff just came running down. So, I invested in me some. And it really does work wonders when you're feeling like all stuffy. Lemon essential oil. This brand was more oily on the oily side. So they tried to stretch that fragrance. The fragrance wasn't very strong at all. And this was gifted to me. So you, I didn't even research the brand because it was trash. Oh, paper. Okay, so this is a tea. Tea with tea, herbs, and tea goddess. Um, That's all I'm going to say about them. I tried to repurchase from them. I don't want to bash your black on brand, but do better. Do better. That's all I'm going to say. Still waiting on my stuff that I ordered from October. But anyway. um, This is the Shea Natural Turmeric Soap. It was good until it wasn't good. I'm just leaving it like that. I probably will buy it again, but I would prefer a liquid. And this girl I know, she makes liquid turmeric soap and it, it made my skin so soft like oh my god um tart rainforest of the sea deep dive cleansing gel now if you want like an everyday cleanser that that will um and if you have oily skin this is good for oily skin it'll take some of that oil away it smells like you going to the spa and the um the h2o it'll bring all the moisture back into your face so they're really really good products to use together or whatever so i love those two and i think they still make this even though the packaging looks like it's you know for a certain season like a summer season but i believe they still make it and it's sold in sephora this is the fresh vitamin nectar vibrancy boosting face mask and it had real fruit in it like i could tell it was very chunky but honestly i don't think i ever used it right but i just used it just for the heck of it i don't even remember buying this i think it was gifted in something like a purchase or something that i got in like macy's i i really don't remember i had it way too long and it still has a lot of product in it but i'm getting rid of it because it has i know it reached its shelf life so this is the anastasia anastasia beverly hills dip bra pomade and chocolate i love this stuff and i know i had it for way too long and i tried to use the ink lock drops to like re you know make it vibrant again but it just it didn't even bring it back to life the ink lock drops if you don't know about the ink lock drops it's i-n-g-l-o-t i know i'm probably saying it wrong but um i know they talk about it on youtube the ink, the ink lock drops All my purse must have came in here. My Steve Madden purse. Love that purse. I had it on yesterday. Alright. We got the Goldie apple cider vinegar gummies. I bought a five pack of these. And when I first started using them, I felt the difference. Like, honestly, truly. But I think because I've been taking them so long, my body got used to them. So... 
I don't know. And they sold everywhere now. They used to be like online only exclusive. So this is just an empty bottle. I'm on my third bottle, I believe. No, I'm on my fourth bottle because I have one more bottle left. All right. I live in Houston and the weather is crazy. Uh, and allergy season seems to never be a season. It's like it's in all four seasons, not just one season. So yeah, I take allergy medicine. I go back and forth between Zyrtec and XA. How have you said? I put a little picture of it because I always say XAZYL, but it's not that, and it's a bunch of letters, but it ain't that. Um, I saw Trey Day post this on her stories when she was at Mexico earlier this year, and she said this is what saves her from being hungover. So when I'm drinking, I'll drink like two of these um, in the morning time to kind of help with being hungover. And it really does work. But you know what else works? Taking a BC powder before you turn up. Like people sleep on that. And then in the morning time when you wake up, take a half of your liquid gel. I'm telling you. That's, I'm just saying that's what worked work for me. Okay. This is a selfie stick. I'm pretty sure I got it from Five Below. And every time I put a phone in here, it fall off. So, my, I just cracked my phone today. So, I don't need to break my phone tomorrow using this. So, no. That's to go. Would it really be a true haul if I didn't have incense? I'm so overdue for buying incense. I don't know what to do, okay? So, you know the vibes. Let's see. We got vanilla spice. Evening Rose, Patchouli Garden, Frankincense and Myrrh, Amber, Sage and Citrus, you know, the usual. Grace Collection Hand Soap. I used to keep this in the kitchen until I realized it don't do nothing but make your hands more drier. Like, what, what's going on? That's what I get for buying lotion from Marshalls. You know, the little kitchen lotion section in the kitchen hand soap? Uh-uh. So we got lavender, bunch of lavender lotions. This one is completely empty. And then this one, it reached its shelf life. So I'm getting rid of it. I take y'all elderberry every day. They just said in, I want to say London, a new strand of coronavirus has um, broken out. Like it's, 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 a, it's a mutating. You know, at, just as we, you know, getting a vaccine, it's mutating. So, anyway, stay, keep your immune built up, okay? As I talk about that, <laughs> vitamin C. And then this is Zyrtec for the kid. I keep whatever I take, I get the kid version for him so that we can be on the same wave. I love this so much and I think they discontinued it. They only make the hair part. And this is the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Infused Shea Body Butter. Oh my goodness. Dry skin. This is this is the one to get here. Original Sugar Body Scrub by Hemp's. You already know I bought some on. Love this stuff. Broadway. I don't know. It was some kind of uh, beauty supply lip gloss and it made my lips itch. So no. And I'm not allergic to nothing, so, uh-uh. Vape pen, and I'm over vape pens. And then this is the oil and stuff that went with the vape pen. And as you can see, it's still full, both of these bottles that's supposed to be in CBD. Um, but I just, it just didn't work for me. I don't really think that they did anything and to preserve my lungs because i be doing a lot of hookah i don't need that anyway this is a foot thing to scrub the bottom of your feet it didn't really work so i think i had it from the dollar store so a pen because i've been doing a lot of writing ran out of ink you know you're getting old when you your pens actually run out of ink Okay. <laughs> so, uh, if you have piercings and you're a woman of color, get you some neem oil, especially if it's a new piercing. This is the um, two apples flavor hookah. Do not get it unless you like the taste of uh, licorice. It is gross. 
Oh, I remember this stuff. This was some organic like um, balm um, that was like pain. It had pain reliever or something in it. It was really, really good. I literally, it's literally down what here. Do hmm? Florida water, but this was the, the blue one. It smells so good. Yeah. I see what I call it, cologne. Oh, party, party, party. If you want a little, you know. Oh, mommy, this is the thing. That's the top to that one. If you want a little party, just a rum chata in the morning in your coffee. All right. Well, yes, it has been repurchased. <laughs> a bigger one at that. So the next time, I'm going to get an even bigger one. What was that? Okay, so this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion. Uh, I probably, people used to love this stuff, honey. I don't even know. I think this just, it got old. And this is another uh, vape pen. It's how the oil turns colors like, mm -mm. This is the Shea Butter by the Body Shop. I should take this back because I recently just got this and it stink. It stink, yes. Ugh. Um, this is full. This is the Sambuca, Sambuca's Nature's Way Standardized Elderberry. Um, this is not the brand I normally like, but for some reason, I don't know if it was, it was old, it was too hot. I don't know, but literally every bottle made everybody in the family stomach bubble when we take these. Elderberry is not supposed to have no kind of effect, like when you take it, like. Tell them Nothing. that it make my stomach hurt. That's what I just said. It made everybody's stomach hurt. God. Give me another one. Um, Lemon essential oils. Get it. I'm thinking about oh, doing a series baby on my channel um, where I talk about, like, you know, uplifting your spirits on the budget. And then this is eucalyptus oil. I got this from Eucalyptus. Um, I think it came in a kit. I got it from Ross, I believe. And you got to be careful when you buying essential oils from places that, that not are like specializing in it. So I'm saying like if you go to Whole Foods, they have a lot of different lines and each one of them will not disappoint you. You go to Ross and you get the little sets. Most of the time it's full Same of thing. oil or whatever. Same so it, it was clearly a set. I got um, eucalyptus. I got lemongrass. And I'm used to my stuff being potent after a few drops. Like, I think I went through this in a week. It, it didn't do anything. Who is this? So. Okay. Next um, Shower Blast. I got you some TJ Maxx. This is a horrible brand. Do not get it. It, do have, it has no smell. Um, Seven Shields Immune. I take these when I know I'm going to travel. Or I have to go outside. Or I've been outside way too much and you can so, put them you won't get kicked out because you, you do, you're doing too much talking give me that what is this? so anyway um yeah these are pretty expensive it's a 45 day supply 90 capsules so um so far so good I like them. I've, I've purchased them. I believe I'm on my second or third bottle. Uh, L. Argine. I used to take this in the morning time uh, with my other morning supplements to give me like a little bit of a little oomph. And I can definitely tell a difference. Um, TJ, you kicking my camera. Okay. I can definitely tell a difference because I'm not taking them. Um, B12 tablets do nothing for me. I had a cappuccino today and the cappuccino did nothing for me. But whatever cappuccino I had Saturday night at um, Vic and Anthony's had me up till 5 in the morning. Like, my sleep had been all out. I think that's why I'm still kind of tired. So these were um, TAC gummies. Um, they ain't do nothing. <laughs> they ain't do nothing. Anyway, uh, more is a... Uh, what are these called? Incense. <laughs> and they're both in the fragrance in lemongrass. Your favorite 
Marc Jacobs Decadence Lotion. I still have the perfume, but I don't have the shower gel. This is a very, very strong fragrance, so I suggest you wearing it in the winter time underneath your clothes. Unless you're just gonna do one spray. I think that's why they came out with the lighter version. Wait, so it won't be as so it won't be as um strong. But I don't mind strong fragrances because I know how to wear them. I don't know what this is. Oh, it was a mustard bath. Uh, I don't even know what the purpose of it was. I saw somebody that I watch a lot um use this stuff, but I honestly don't know why. TJ, put that down. And hookah and blueberry mint. My favorite. My favorite when I go out. That's probably what I'm going to order every time I get hookah while I'm out. I Lush. It's a dusting powder. So you can put it on like if you're sweaty. It's not necessarily for your underwear. Like have we learned like not to put baby powder in our underwear. Like let's not do that. But however like if you're sweating on your neck. You're sweating here. Sweating underneath your boobs. You just dust it. And it really does absorb the sweat. Like I've tried this. I had it for a long time. But it's just it reached its shelf life so make sure y'all not keeping stuff forever things do expire products do change after a certain amount of time this is the original uh scent of florida water if you know you know i always use it um this is a my favorite shoe cleaner brush, but the brush got like to where it's too dirty, so I got rid of it. I have like three more of these because I stay buying that Jason Mark shoe cleaner. Then we have makeup removal wipes by Beauty 360. I, I know it's a drugstore brand, but I don't know if it's Walmart. I think it's Walmart. But I ain't really like them. They they not wet enough. Only kind of razors that I use for my armpits. Tarte lip scrub. It's like a minty scrub, so I love to use it in the morning time. Um, it lasts a really long time. Finally, finally, finally finished it. Now what I tell you, I just told y'all. I got some in my purse, got some in the cabinet, got some in my bar cart. Like, we ain't playing, we ain't playing no games. It's a speaker. A door speaker? Mm-hmm. It don't really sound that good. Give me. It don't work. It needs to be charged, that's why. It's an Insignia speaker. I don't even know why they made this. I don't even know why I bought it, for one. But it was at Best Buy, I remember. And I was like, oh, this looks cool. Like, the speaker is equivalent to, like, putting your phone on speaker. But it's not all the way up. So, it's horrible. Mm. What else is in there? All these things. Give it Alright, so we got ginger, um, ginger incense. Oh, when I was a classy rich lady, I bought some Henry Bindle body cream. And it was so luxury, I never used it. And it'll probably look really good on a vanity. Um, and Because the glass is really heavy. Like, if you threw this at somebody here, you will knock them out. It's very, very heavy. Um, the scent is very, very nice. I still have a Henry Bindle candle around here somewhere. But I just needed to make space and it got to go. Just ran out of ink too. Yeah, it dried out because somebody left it open. I don't know if it was me or somebody else. Binti who? Agree. Um, this is some lip balm that I really really liked, but it got. Oh, it's good for thirty months, but I'm pretty sure I had it for a while, and it's not good in the heat. I think I used to leave this in my car door during the summertime, and I put it on one day and it made my lips burn. Nope, can't do it. This is the Jason Soothing Aloe Vera Moisturizing Gel. Again, if you're a woman of color and you have piercings, this is for you. And then we have some digestive tea. 
activated charcoal toothpaste. I still use activated charcoal toothpaste, just not this brand. Some Excedrin Migraine Nighttime. I need to get some more of that. Charging cable, another pen, ink pen, bake pen, uh, eucalyptus essential oils, but it wasn't very good. Um, I love these beauty masks from Ulta. I already repurposed. Well, I still have some in my bathroom now. Love it, love it. Uh, what is this? Poopery Odor Eliminating Spray for Sneakers. Gr don't use this and then don't spray this in your shoes and then think you're gonna put them on. Talking about a funky me. I, I still trying to wash them shoes and they still stink. And I don't have stinky feet. I didn't read the directions. You have to spray them and then let it let it dry overnight. So I don't even have sticks. I don't even know why I bought this. I just saw Poopa read about it. Trying to yeah. Don't don't do don't do what I did. Don't buy this. This is the Versi Silk Lip Conditioning Oil with jojoba oil and vitamin E. Um, it don't last long. The best so far overnight or lip balm that I've tried. Well, I put it on and when I wake up, it's still on. Is a Victoria's Secret Good Night Kiss. Oh my god, that stuff is so good. So then we got uh, some Jason Mark shoe cleaner. Uh, we have some lavender essential oil by a brand you don't need to get. A sweet orange oil. You need to switch on sweet orange oil in your life. Okay, that's a good brand. That's the Whole Foods brand. But Bulgarian lavender, you need that in your life, okay? Home Foods brand, tea tree therapy. If you go get your feet done, your nails done, you got piercings. Uh, you put, it's it's a very natural uh um uh, what is it? A natural like astringent, like a natural uh. Mm. Stop mocking me. Very good. Neuro gum. I don't, I just be behind shit, y'all. It's supposed to fuel your mind, activate your mind. I don't know if it really did that. I honestly can't tell you. And then we got some more pins that ran out. So, ran out. that's my 2020 upset me and my homegirl video. Pajama style, like we chilling. You know, I had a little lavender bath. Now it's time for some sleepy time tea. And we're gonna go night, night, okay? Comment below if you're interested in any of these products. Or if you have more questions. Y'all never ask me questions. Are y'all watching my stuff? Like, what's going on? Come on. It's like a lot of energy to get in front of this camera. It's like a lot to set up for these little videos and these little views, okay? It's like I said, it's upsetting me and my homegirls, okay? And he getting annoying, so I got to go. Mm.